Hey guys, welcome back to Doctor Who. We don't have Donna anymore and it's just our doctor. So does this mean we pick up a new companion or is he just going to fly solo for a little while? I've got no idea, but I'm excited to find out. So let's watch. Well, there he is. And what's he up to today? <laughs> oh, we've gone back. Early 1900s, 1800s. Boy, what day is this? Christmas Eve, sir. What year? 1851, sir. Right. Get her! What? Who, me? Stand back. Oh, we got here. Doctor! Oh, no, I'm standing right here. Who are you? I'm the doctor. Well, there can't be two of you. Don't I? Stand back. I'm the doctor. <laughs> Simply the doctor. Rosita, give me the sonic screwdriver. What? Now, quickly, get back to the TARDIS. Back to the what? If you could stand back, sir. What? This, this is Oh, that's, oh, that's new. Oh, 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 what? <laughs> oh, okay. So there's another doctor. In the previous episode, we had two doctors. In this episode, we've got two doctors. <laughs> How did this happen? There must have been some sort of... Oh, I don't know. Could he have somehow came on board because of the regeneration in the last one? Maybe some particles got out somewhere. The next doctor. Oh. Rosita. I'm ready. Watch and learn. <laughs> Let pull this timorous beastie down to earth. Not so oh, easy, is it? Uh, I might be in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Nothing changes. I've got you. Yep. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just you let go, sir. I'm not letting you out of my sight, Doctor. They are so similar. Whoa! <laughs> oh my gosh, that would hurt. <laughs> what? Just let go. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think he's so funny. I should introduce Rosita. My faithful companion, always telling me off. Rosita. <gasps> Rosita. Oh, that for nothing. Mm. And we've only got 20 minutes to the funeral, don't forget. Funeral? Not my own, not yet. I'm not as young as I was. Oh. Not as young as you were when you were me. When I was who? You really don't recognize me? Not at all. But you're the doctor, the next doctor. No, don't tell me how it happened. Although, if I don't just trip over a brick, that'd be embarrassing. Now, might I ask, who are you exactly? I'm just Smith, John Smith, Smith. Yes. But I've heard all about you, Doctor. Bit of a legend. A legend with certain memories missing. Am I right? Great swathes of my life have been stolen mm. away. Going how far back? Since the Cybermen. They are creatures from another world. Really? <laughs> and they found me. Something was taken and something was lost. What was I like in the past? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I should say. Sorry. I talk of Cybermen from the stars. And you don't blink, Mr. Smith. Oh, don't blink. Remember that? <gasps> yes. Whatever you do, don't blink. Sally and the angels, no? <laughs> You're a very odd man. <laughs> mm, I still am. <laughs> yes. Something's wrong here. For the funeral. Merry Christmas, Mr. Smith. Merry Christmas, Doctor. Follow him. Yeah, follow him, because I want to know whose funeral this is. Then observe the enemy. This man is dangerous. This man is the Doctor. I mean, I that one. They don't recognize our doctor. Is everything in position? Well, that's rather dependent on you. And you'll keep your part of the bargain. You will be heralded in the new age. The Cyber King will rise. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a funeral to attend. The late Reverend Fairchild leaving his place of residence for the last time. With the house empty, I shall effect an entrance at the rear while you go back to the TARDIS. This is hardly work for a woman. He's got a little bit more command over the companions. Hello. <laughs> How did you get in? Oh, front door. I'm good at doors. Is that your sonic screwdriver? <laughs> I'd be lost without it. That's a screwdriver. How's it sonic? It's oh, not. Right. It makes a noise. <gasps> what? Now, since we're acting like common burglars, I suggest we get out of plain view. I want to see his TARDIS. Mr. Jackson Lake came to London three weeks ago and died a terrible death. His body was never found. More secret murders than abductions. Children 
Stolen away in silence. So whose house is this? The latest murder. The Reverend Aubrey Fairchild. But why would the Cybermen want him dead? And what's his connection to the first death, this Jackson Lake? They seem to be telling you everything, as though you engendered some sort of trust. You seem familiar, Mr. Smith. I know your face. I can't help noticing you're wearing a fog watch. Is that important? <gasps> oh. Do you mind? Oh, no way. If it's opened. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> That's more for decoration. Yeah. Anyway. That's beautiful. <laughs> Shh. What's that noise? Oh, it's just me <laughs> whistling. <laughs> I wonder what's in here, though. Oh, that's amazing. Different and metal, you're all right. Huh? They are info stamps. If I were you, I'd say they worked <laughs> like this. See? That's cool. Compressed information. This is like a disc, cyber disc. You all right? No, what is it? What's wrong? I've seen one of these before. Oh. I was holding this device. The night I lost my mind. The night I regenerated. My mind, my face, my whole self. And you with her. Who are you? Friend. And I beg you, John. Help me. Two words I'll never refuse. It'll make more sense if we go back to the TARDIS. Your uh, TARDIS. Yes, I need to see this TARDIS. I don't think it's... A blue box. If this room's got info stamps, then maybe, just maybe, it's got something that needs info stamping. <gasps> okay. I think we should run. Delete. Delete, delete, exterminate. <laughs> Two words you don't want to hear. I'm a damn hand with a cutlass. Really? Your last one up there. I'm the doctor. You need me. Leave this man alone. The doctor is me. So he wants to put himself in another doctor's place just to save him. Oh, well done. Very nice. In fact, that with a cyclostone core. You ripped open the core and broke the safety. Zap! I did that last time. And then he regenerated. You told them you were the doctor. Why did you do that? Protecting you. Mm -hmm. You're trying to take away the only thing I've got. They stole something. Something so precious. But... <gasps> they stole his heart? Does he only have one heart? What did they do? We'll find out. You and me together. How many hearts does he have? Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Do continue. A lady at the graveside is debatable enough. You're disgracing the ceremony. That's why the late Reverend Fairchild had to die. To gather you all in one place. The Cyberman. Mr. Cole, Mr. Schoons, Mr. Fetch, Mr. Milligan, stay where you are. You're needed. The rest of you are disposable. Oh, that's that thing. Monstrous witch. Merry Christmas to you, too. What do you need us for? Your children. In all these years, not one of you has asked my first name. It's Mercy. That is actually a beautiful name. Hope you were dead. Oh. <laughs> He's always doing this. Leave me behind. What about the TARDIS? Oh, she's ready. She's ready. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, same. So, you live here? A temporary base. The TARDIS is magnificent, but it's hardly a home. Where's the TARDIS now? In the ark. What's all this luggage? Evidence. Property of Jackson Lake, the first man to be murdered. Oh, but my new friend is a fighter, Rosita, much like myself. I'm not ashamed to say he was braver than I. Are you whistling again? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am, yeah. Yeah. How did you do me, then? You saved my life. This creature came out of the shadows. A man made of metal. There he was. He has such terrible dreams. Wakes at night in such a state of terror. With all the things the Time Lord has seen, everything he's lost, he must surely have bad dreams. Mm. Yeah. Look. <gasps> Another one. Jackson Lake had an info stamp. Doctor, the answer to all this is in your TARDIS. Can I see it? Mr. Smith, it would be my honor. T the TARDIS is probably a horse. <laughs> there she is. I transport through time and space. Oh, Look it's... Look at a balloon. A blue balloon. It stands for Tethered Aerial Release Developed in Style. <laughs> I like it. Good TARDIS. <gasps> Never know, maybe tonight's the night, Doctor. Seeing Christmas from above. Not just yet, I think. One day I will ascend. So he's never been in his own TARDIS. <laughs> You've never actually been up. I can depart in the TARDIS once London is safe. Time and the space. The perfect escape. Do you ever wonder what you're escaping from? With every moment. And do you want me to tell you? 
Because I think I've worked it out now, how you became the Doctor. Do you want to know? Yes, yes. A little test, turn right. Ooh. Set about your appointed tasks and bring them to me. The Cybermen were fought and they were beaten and they were sent into a howling wilderness called the Void. But then a greater battle rose up, so great that everything inside the Void perished. But as the walls of the world weakened, the last of the Cybermen must have fallen through the dimensions. I fought them, I know that. At the same time, another man came to London, Mr. Jackson Lake. But he found the Cybermen too. He took hold of an info stamp. Jackson Lake is dead. You said no body was ever found. Oh. I told you the answer was in the fob watch. Can I see? I'm trying to piece all this together, but I think it's... I don't know. <laughs> I've got no clue. Jackson Lake. Yeah. That's him. The watch is Jackson Lake's. He's Jackson Lake. Jackson Lake is you, sir. But I'm the doctor. You became the doctor because the info stamp you picked up was a book about one particular man. Oh, him, the doctor. The Cybermen's database. <gasps> Started from the Daleks inside the board, I'd say. But it's everything you could want to know about the doctor. <gasps> wow. That's you. The one and the only. The info stamp must have backfired, streamed all that information about me. Into his head. Right inside your head. Yeah. So he is not the doctor, he's not a time lord, he just has one heart, and the Cyberman stole his memory, his life, himself. I am nothing but a lie. Info stamps are just facts and figures. All that bravery. Saving Rosita, defending London town. Yes. Building a TARDIS, that's all you. Tell me what else. There's still something missing, isn't there? Tell me what they took. Really, I am so sorry. Does he know or he doesn't want to say? But that's an awful lot of luggage for one man. <gasps> a family. What you suffered is called a fugue, where the mind just runs away because it can't bear to look back. He must have had a wife and children. I remember. Oh, my God. His family. Caroline, they killed my wife. I killed her. Oh. It's made some sort of connection. You found a whole cache of info stamps. But what is it? Call to arms. Mm -hmm. Cybermen are moving! Yeah. And that, I think that'll tell the Cybermen exactly where they are. The Doctor needs help. I learned that much about him. Mm -hmm. There should be someone at his side. Go. What is it? What's happening? That's Mr. Cole. Maybe he's taking him to praise. <gasps> Hello? You seem to have something in your ear. Turn it off, turn it off. There's tons of them. I've just seen another lot coming down from the Ingleby workhouse. Don't? They'll be guarded as well, though. There's dozens of them. They only want children. You will enter the court of the Cyber King. March. Poor fellow. Where is it? What's he looking for? Another info stamp? Yeah, that's too well guarded. We'll have to find another way in. Oh, that's cheating! Keep your legs on silent. So, what do we have here? They are my knights in shining armor. You step away! There's been no conversion, sir. Who are you? You could be quiet. I doubt he paid you to talk. <gasps> More importantly, who are you, sir, with such intimate knowledge of my companions? The doctor's info stamp. Plug it in. Oh Go on, gosh. download. And now they're gonna know. Yeah. You are the doctor. Hello. Tell me one thing. What do you need those children for? They're a workforce. And it's open time for Christmas Day. Was that your idea, Miss? Hartigan. Delete them. That's Jackson, isn't it? Yeah. At your service, <laughs> Doctor. Oh, no. Chase! Chase! Oh, come on! Oh, oh, whoa! Can I say I'm completely disappointed? Come on. Cyber King will rise tonight. A stronghold down by the river. I need to find a way in. Oh, I'm ahead of you. This was in the luggage. The deeds. That might be a way in. Brilliant. I remember the cellar and my wife. Perhaps that's the key to defeating these invaders. Maybe you should go back. Don't even try. Your work is done. She's so evil. Now let the new industrial revolution begin. Yeah, they're just going to be slaves, okay. I thought that they maybe wanted to harvest their organs. <laughs> the slaves, so might be a better option. Soon the Cyber King will awake. <gasps> oh, 
are they a one-time use or can they get recharged and that's quite a throne oh you will look resplendent my function is to serve the cyber king not to become the cyber king then who sits there she does all hail the Cyber King. Mm -hmm. You promised me you said I would never be converted. That was designated a lie. <gasps> what do the Cybermen want? They want us. They want every living thing to be like them. But I would have served you anyway! Activate. This is your liberation. Oh, that's awful. Mm. The Cyber King is born. <gasps> Yuck, I don't want to see that. <laughs> Generating electricity for what for? Like, are they planning on leaving or do they just want to take everything over? Power at 90%. But if we stop the engine, the power dies down, the side will come running. Power fluctuation, that's not meant to happen. Software's rewriting itself. I can see the stars and the whole of infinity. Oh, but this is glorious. Glorious is an emotional response. Exactly. <gasps> My mind is stronger than you ever thought. You are operating beyond the standard parameters. Oh, they'll have I to destroy new. her. The might of your technology combined with my own imagination. There will be a new race of Cybermen, my Cybermen. You will be removed from the processor. Okay. I am Cyber King, and you will obey me. The Cyber King. They don't have a choice, otherwise they'll just be incinerated. Delete. Do they have enough weapons to take them all out though? They'll have to be so quick. Come on, come on, come on. quick, quick. Some sort of starter motor, but starting what? Oh, I've got an idea. I think that Jackson is going to sacrifice himself. He's got all those weapons strapped to him. He's gonna blow it up. A sign. Oh, is that? Mother! Is that the same little boy? My son. My son. They took my son. No. Frederick, come on! Oh please no, please. Don't move. I'm coming. Oh no, you'll have to jump. You know me. <gasps> that is so cool. Whoa. Wow. What a beautiful shot. I love the red in the background. Oh, Merry Christmas. Mm. Oh. What? <laughs> that thing's massive. Come on, Doctor, hurry up. Gotcha. What's that for? Oh my god. Witness me, mankind. A cyber king of all. <gasps> it's a cyber king. Front line of an invasion. And inside the chest, a cyber factory. Can he use that pipe that he has as like a javelin and throw it through the cyber king? Why do they not rejoice? <laughs> You're killing them. That's why. Take himself to the parkland. But where are you going? To stop that thing. Well, I should be with you. You've got a reason to live. No, well, you haven't. Oh. God save you, Doctor. Oh, that's so sad. He does have a reason to live. He's got so many reasons. What the hell is that thing, sir? Oh, good man, Jim! What is it? I'll give you five pound notes. Alright, what do you want me to do? The TARDIS is gonna fly! <gasps> no way. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I wish that Jackson could be on it, though. Your governments will surrender. Never flown one of these before. No, never. Can I have my money now? Oh, get on with it. <laughs> Just in case he dies. <laughs> What's that? I lost you. My son knows it. You know, I would run in the opposite direction of that Cyber King because he's just going in the one straight line. Just run behind him. <laughs> it's the daughter. She's flying. Oh, I wish he could have been on it. Who the hell is that? His name, sir, is the Doctor. <laughs> oh, so brave, so brave. Staring at that huge thing. 
The Doctor. Yet another man come to assert himself against me in the night. I'm offering you a choice. You might have the most remarkable mind this world has ever seen. Strong enough to control the Cybermen themselves. Such a mind deserves to live. The Cybermen came to this world using a dimension vault. I can use that device to find you a home. Why would I leave this place? Because if you don't, I'll have to stop you. What do you make of me, sir? An idiot? Question is, what do you make of me? Oh. Oh my god, he's got the best lines. You make me into this. <sighs> then I have made you a failure. Your weapons are useless. What? I wasn't trying to kill you. All I did was break the cyber connection. <gasps> Leaving your mind open. Open, I think, for the first time in far too many years. To see what she's done. So you can see. Just look at yourself. Look at what you've done. I'm sorry, Miss Hartigan, but look at what you've become. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, her screams destroy them. Oh, damn. She's gone. She's just in little pieces. But whatever he did, he's killed it. That's going to fall on everybody. Where's going to fall? That's why you get behind it. Or maybe it might fall backwards. <laughs> Now you're ready. So what does that do? It stops it in place, so it won't fall? Oh, oh, it's just gone. Where? I'd say he used that dimension vault to transfer the wreckage of the Cyber King into the time vortex. Right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that, mate. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that man, that doctor on high. But not once, no sir, not once, not ever, has he ever been thanked. But no more. Bravo, sir! Bravo! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I love that. And a new history begins for me. I find myself a widower, but with my son. And with a good friend. Frederick will need a nursemaid, and I can think of none better. Don't we might all dine together at the Traveler's Halt? Christmas feast and he celebration. He doesn't usually do that. You won't stay. Like I said, you know me. Mm. I don't think anyone does. And this is it! <gasps> oh, one last adventure. Oh! Oh, oh my word. <laughs> well, this is nonsense. Well, that's one word for it. <laughs> oh. I can't bear it. Oh. oh, gracious. I take it this is goodbye. Onwards and outwards. All those facts and figures I saw of the Doctor's life, you were never alone. All those bright and shining companions, but not anymore? No. Might I ask why not? They leave? Because they should, or they find someone else. And some of them, some of them forget me. I suppose in the end, they break my heart. That offer of Christmas dinner, it's no longer a request, it's a demand. In memory of those we've lost. Oh, go on then. <laughs> Oh, really? Good. Just this once. You've, you've actually gone and changed my mind. Not many people can do that. If anyone had to be the doctor, I'm glad it was you. Walk this way. I certainly will. Merry Christmas to you, Jackson. Merry Christmas indeed, Doctor. Such a beautiful ending. But I also have to curse the show because finally there was one episode where I got through like the whole thing and I didn't cry. What an achievement. But then, of course, he had to go and say at the end, oh, they break his heart. Oh, my God. Thanks a lot. I almost made it, which would be an incredible achievement for me. I loved this episode. It was so good. It's a Christmas special. But I also note with pleasure that it's the same doctor. Like, we haven't had to say goodbye to him yet. Um, I'm pleased. <laughs> I'm really pleased. We still have David Tennant because he is... I've only had two doctors. <laughs> okay, I've only had two doctors. I've got David Tennant and Christopher Eccleston. I've only got... I've only had two. <laughs> but I think David Tennant is my favourite... I really feel that he just fits this role so well. Like, he's completely bonkers. He's nuts at times, but he's also 
deeply emotional and he has this beautiful dark side to him too which I adore I love that deeper darker side to him but I do know that we do go through doctors we do lose doctors and as much as it hurts to say goodbye to them because we just love them so much I think that we also then grow to love the next doctor we love the next companion in in a different way in another way in their way so although it was so sad so sad for me to say goodbye to Donna I am hopeful that the next companion I will fall in love with just as much so even though it like it's devastating it breaks our hearts to say goodbye we find someone else and we fall in love with another doctor another companion and it's a beautiful yet painful cycle I really did love this one I loved that Christmas was set back in the 1800s but we still of course had terrible things happen we had the Cybermen we had the Cyber King but all it worked out in the end I really thought this was just so special because it had the incredible use of another doctor we had the sonic screwdriver which was not sonic at all the TARDIS which was a hot air balloon it was just so well done and so fun and I really did like this one the Christmas specials to me are a time to sit back and just enjoy whatever catastrophe is about to happen but then they also do seem to have an emotional side to it usually as well which you know I've come to expect from Doctor Who I, I can't be too mad that I had to use my tissue well guys I really hope you enjoyed this Christmas special I thought it was just brilliant and I'm so looking forward to seeing what happens in the next episode thank you all so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I'll see you soon bye